You can now edit your main.dart file. So in this video, we're gonna talk about what the main.dart file does, how you can edit it, and what are the kinds of things you'd wanna do there. The main.dart file is a file that's run when someone opens your app. So it's the entry point to your app. All right, so how do you edit it? So go to your custom code editor and then click on the main.dart file. Inside this main function, you'll see some other functions or logic and which functions you'll see here will depend on what other services you have enabled on your project. But all projects will have this final function run app, which runs your app. Now, sometimes you wanna configure some services or packages before you run your app, and this is now possible by adding initial and final actions. So what's the difference between initial and final actions? Well, in between these actions will be all those functions that will be added depending on which services you have enabled in your project. So as a general rule, initial actions will be run as soon as you possibly can when your app is opened, and final actions will be run right before the run app function is called. Now, unlike our other custom code modules, you can't directly edit it in the editor because this main function is so critical to your app that we want to ensure that it's configured properly. But you can add these actions on the right side. So let's do that. These actions are coming from custom actions that you've created. So if you haven't created any custom actions, you won't be able to select any here. And we'll create some in a second. But first, what are the kinds of things you would normally do here? Well, you would commonly set up things like geolocation, analytics, or state management, but Flutterflow actually takes care of many of those for you. But there are still Flutter services and third-party packages that you might wanna configure or initialize here. For instance, maybe you wanna lock the device's orientation in portrait or landscape mode to prevent it from rotating the screen automatically when the user rotates the device. So let's create a custom action called set landscape mode. We'll import Flutter's service package. It gives you access to various platform services, that is services in iOS, Android, and web, and paste in this code that enforces landscape in either left or right orientation. One important note is that you can't use actions that have arguments or build context. You can't have a build context because there isn't a build context yet because your run app hasn't been executed and there's no element tree. Finally, save and compile. Then return to your main.dart file and add that action. And it's all set up. Other things you could do here could be, maybe you wanna clear the clipboard or record how many times your app was opened or change the status bar color. These are just some of the things that you can do now that you can make changes in your main.dart file in Flutterflow.